Hi, today we're going to talk about how to set up and configure all-in-one SEO pack plugin for WordPress. Uh, so I've already have it installed. If you don't have it installed yet, you simply just go to plugins, add new, and then you search for all-in-one SEO pack, install the plugin, activate it, and then you'll be able to see on the left-hand side, um, you will see this all-in-one SEO option up here. So the first thing that you want to do is click on general settings um, and we'll, we'll kind of scroll through here. Some of these things matter, some don't. So make sure canonical URLs is checked. Uh, keep going down. We're going to say use original uh, title. Make sure that's disabled um, so that's not going to override whatever we do. And then uh, make sure the use schema markup is checked. Then you're going to put in your title and the description for your home page. Um, make sure that the title is less than 60 characters and make sure that the description, the meta description is less than 160. Uh, for keywords, we leave those blank these days. Uh, there's different schools of thought on that, but uh, there's actually a school of thought that it could negatively impact you because people that um, do spammy SEO techniques are the ones that still have a bunch of keywords. So uh, I would just leave that blank. Um, you could uh, kind of keep going here. I'm going to ignore that section. Uh, make sure your rewrite titles is enabled. Uh, that means that we can rewrite the titles within each post or page. Um, you can choose the preference of capitalized titles. Most people do. Um, same thing with category titles. The default here is actually to have your for your, your home page title, page title, and then blog title. Um, I've only put page title because you'll get into an issue where the title is too long and it will get truncated by Google and so literally I want to be able to control that page title what it says so I, I remove the blog title from the home page page title and post title format so we keep scrolling here so now what you want to do is be able to say um, you can do SEO on different post types. Really all we care about is going to be posts and pages because that's really all that we're going to index uh, in this section. Uh, keep going. Um, yep, keep scrolling down. So this section right here, Webmaster Verification, just make sure that you get your um, verification ID number and you paste that in here from both Google, Bing, and then Pinterest if that's important to you. Make sure to connect your Google Plus profile. Um, you know that it's still debatable how impactful that is, but uh, you know that's definitely a default feature in here. Also, make sure you have your Google Analytics ID. You can just copy and paste that from your Google Analytics. Keep scrolling. Um, okay, so here. Uh, I know index categories, I, pretty much everything. Um, you know, the rest of these down here, so let's just say tags, uh, author, date, categories, because we're not really trying to rank those pages. And though uh, we don't want to have duplicate content issues, so uh, we'll just keep scrolling through here. Um, you can auto generate uh, descriptions, so if you, know, you haven't had the ability to go in and, and add custom meta descriptions, it will do that for you. Um, and that's it. So when you're done, you hit update options and that will update those settings. Uh, the other part of this plugin that we want to do is go to feature Ma manager and we're going to activate sitemap. So what this is going to do is now create a sitemap for the site. And what we can do is make priorities for that sitemap. So, um, going down here so we determine what types I don't want all types I really just want posts and pages like I mentioned before um, and we're, we're gonna get rid of taxonomies so uh, we don't want to index those either um, you can there's schools of thoughts I mean this is obviously subjective but um, you know I I have done categories in fact I'll do categories but I won't do tags uh, because categories and tags can over overlap and so um, so make sure that one's checked um, make sure these three are checked, compress sitemap, virtual robots text, uh, dynamically generate sitemap. You can exclude categories if you want to, and you can create priorities. So you can say, hey, you know what, my homepage is, uh, you know, a really high priority. Um, you know, I could say my posts, you know, aren't, aren't as much of a priority. So the lower the number, the less the priority it is. 
and taxonomies, we can say the same thing. It's basically just saying my homepage is really the one that I'm trying to rank for our site. So that's the one that I want them to prioritize. And also I can say how often. So I'll say weekly for homepage, I'll say monthly for posts, and I'll say yearly maybe for taxonomies. No, we'll say monthly for taxonomies. And hit update sitemap. And then it automatically uh, builds it, builds it for you, um, and you can then uh, automatically notify um, Google and Bing that it has been generated. So that's the two main things that we're going to use all-in-one SEO for. Uh, real quick, I'll just go through and show you that uh, where you can add the information now. You'll see if I'm on pages, I can see SEO title, SEO description, uh, and then keywords. And you could do, you know, like, let's just say uh, we wanted to edit it. Oh, sorry, cancel that. So we're going to hit edit. And then we do that. It will give us a box underneath the page information where we can now, you can see title, meta description, keywords, if you want to do that. You can also no index. So you can say, hey, you know what? I don't want this to, to index or I don't want uh, the links to be followed on this page. Maybe it's case studies and you're just trying to demonstrate something you're not trying to rank it so you definitely have some more flexibility there so uh, that is how to use all-in-one SEO for WordPress